it's a very, very, very late night stream, or you might call it the early morning stream. Check it out, I have a little bite of food. Here's a little cinnamon roll. It's so small. Yeah, so uh, I missed my normal uh, live stream time, but we're gonna make up for it anyways. We're gonna have a live stream anyways, right? Gotta keep the, uh, the kill streak going. Give me a moment, I didn't turn any music on. I really just rushed to get this started. One moment. Just kind of threw this together at the last second. <laughs> mm. I had a lot, to, a lot of work to catch up on. Hops. Oh. Mm. We'll jump over to live chat. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. So basically, I needed to spend some time with my wife, and she is fully asleep now, so I'm back to streaming. Oh, oh man. Is Kitty awake? Kitty's always awake. Kitty sleeps all the time so that she's always ready to be awake. He says, wow, mister, is this an early stream? Basically, I missed the late night stream, but uh, I'm going to get a stream done anyways because I hate missing a day. What about that 45,000 Logan Paul pack that sold? 45,000? Damn, man. People really just want to be in that box break, I guess. Holy, holy bejesus, man. Mr. and Wifey, that's right. What's up, TG Maps? He says, good evening, Mr. D. How's it going? So, it's just me and you. You guys can ask me anything you want. We're best friends. 45k for that trainer art. I know, right? They're going to pull last. Why no stream for the night? What are you talking about? We're right here. <laughs> no, but I, I obviously I'm, I'm about four hours late. No, it's about five hours late. And, um, you know, I just had to spend some time with my wife because we haven't been spending enough time together. So, you know, that was becoming a problem. <laughs> you guys are always asking, like, do you sleep? You're always live. It's, like, it's true. I am always live and I'm always um, working. And, uh, so I don't get to spend a lot of time with her. And we're going into Valentine's weekend, so I need to definitely spend some time with her. My membership expired. I got to get one tomorrow. <laughs> How's it going, William? 40K on a cold pack. I know, right? He's alive. What's up, Jack? Yeah, all you guys had to do was wait a few minutes. I was about to go live any second. <laughs> oh, man. Does Mr. Shave his chest hair? I do not. I do not shave my chest hair. I'm on my way to the airport. He spends a lot to write off those taxes as content. That's right. The Pokey Gods, Hollow McDonald's Pikachu going for 60 ungraded. It's in the TCG database. Oh, cool. Cool. Man, speaking of which, I got some mail. I never opened it. I got some mail sitting over there. I wonder what's in there. What's up, William? What did you have for breakfast? Um, Waki slush. No, I just ate a little pinwheel. It was pretty yummy. I watched a video of a Swedish guy building a log cabin waiting for you to go live. <laughs> Sorry, man. I hate to hear that. I hate being late. Actually, being late drives me insane. I, I don't think that's true for everyone. Some people don't mind being late, but being late for me drives me insane. All the alarms in my head go off. They're like, you're late, you're late, you're late, you're late. <laughs> Do you have any spots left in your box break? Yes, we have about 12 spots left. Somebody just did a trade with me for one of my Charizards and gave me a spot back, and I was like, I'll take it. Because the truth is, there's a lot of those Charizards, and there are not a lot of spots in that box break. So that's the truth. So I was like, I will take that trade. Don't stream. Quality time is more important. Well, we, we spend some quality time together. And uh, after this stream, we'll probably keep spending quality time together. So I won't get as much done this weekend. Psycho Gamer says, I got to put some money on my card. I didn't know you were streaming. What's up, man? Yeah, um, again, I'm sorry, everyone, for showing up so late. Let's see if there were any pre-orders that never got taken care of. Sometimes people... PayPal's like, apply for a business loan. Sometimes uh, people pre-order, and so I'll go see if anyone did a pre-order so we can take care of that, and they don't have to wait, like, two days to see what they got. They'll wake up, they'll turn on the live stream and know what they got. Hey, what are you doing? She's just, like, chewing on the booster pack. You want to see?
Maybe that's why she throws up. I wonder if she ever eats stuff she's not supposed to be eating. But we don't notice weird stuff in her throw up, so I have no idea. All right, I see Slav. I remember taking care of Slav. Now we have David Kubayek, who ordered yesterday, says. <laughs> he says, hi, sir. I have a bag, five vivid voltage, five darkness ablaze. So we'll take care of David real fast. David, probably it's not here, but hopefully when he wakes up, he can come back and find his order. David Kubayek. How many cherry zards has she eaten? One, two, three, four, five. If she ate even one cherry zard, she'd be in the pound. <laughs> I'd be like, you're not eating my $700 cherry zards. That's not happening. She'd be kitty out of here. Good luck to David Kubayek. So we're not going to have a lot of viewers because of the odd tar start time. And we're not going to have a lot of cards to open either. I do have a little bit of mail. Maybe I'll open the mail with you guys. Mister, do you like sushi? Yeah, I like sushi. I love sushi, actually. I love seafood. If you didn't know this about me, I eat a lot of fish. I'll buy whole bags of shrimp. And really just heat up the shrimp and eat shrimp all day. And the other thing I'll do... I mean, like, frozen raw shrimp. And the other thing I'll do is... Uh, I'll buy a whole kind of closet of sardines, right? And I'll just eat a couple sardine tins a day. So I love seafood. Yeah, I like sushi. Okay, we've got Cottony. 5 a.m. stream. Invest! What's up, Rand Maceo? Probably not going to have a huge audience here. We got Colossal Full Art. How do I get started in this hobby? I would start slow. Don't spend all your money because you, you'll discover later that there was maybe something else that you wanted. And you'll be like, oh, no, I have no money left for that now. So start slow. Remember, there's always going to be Pokemon cards the next day. I think the mistake most people make is they buy too much quickly. So just buy a little bit at a time. And uh, start to familiarize yourself with what's out there. There's a lot of part Pokemon cards out there, but it's a finite number of Pokemon cards. So once you know all the Pokemon cards you can buy, you'll know which ones you want to buy. And you should buy to collect. Buy the ones you think look good. Or open the sets with the cards that you think look good. Okay? And if you're here just to make money, I would say probably stick to vintage. But there's examples of people making money in modern as well. All right. So if you're trying to take like a long-term position on Pokemon cards, I would say that vintage stuff is uh, pretty safe. Whereas with modern, we're about to find out if everyone overpaid for modern. Maybe not, though. Maybe the price of modern will stay high. Who knows? Because they're getting ready to print a bunch more modern cards. We don't really know what that means. Mine means they print it like crazy. And if they do that, modern cards really will lose value. All right. So there's Peeps at you. Did he say I have a bag? David Kubayek did not tell me if he had a bag. We'll do a quick search for him. People don't like losing money, so the prices can't drop too low. Yeah, I, I don't know if I fully agree with that. I hope it's true, because I got a lot of Pokemon cards. Here's David. They say at maximum capacity, though, so expect more QC issues. I don't think he has... What? <laughs> I didn't understand your last word in your message. Kitty, you feel tired? She's got a look on her face like she's tired. That's how I feel right now. I'm not all there, kitty. See? See that look? That's exactly how I feel right now. I'm, like, not all here. <laughs> I haven't had any caffeine. I, like, overslept. Overslept. You wouldn't think that would be a problem, but I basically just laid in bed with uh, my wife all night. <sighs> Let's see. Joe Harris. What's up, Joe? Joe Harris returns again. One custom booster, two crimson invasion, one sword and shield base. All right. So two crimson. Joe Harris probably waited all night to see his cards get opened. One sword and shield base. Is he here? What are the odds Joe Harris is actually here? And one custom. Okay, out of your custom, you get Hollow Gengar. Oh, TG Maps is Joe Harris. Duh. <laughs> Sometimes I forget who's who. <laughs> Sometimes I forget who's who. So these didn't get restocked from lunch. They're totally untapped from lunch. 
What you drinking, mister? I'm just having some Canada Dry. You know, I could have had caffeine, but I haven't eaten anything. I don't feel like ready, you know what I mean? Caffeine, caffeine can give you a stomach ache and throw this over here. I don't think I'm ready to be punched in the gut by caffeine. <laughs> Ferrothorn, oh man, I kind of smashed my finger earlier in a doorway. My finger's all numb. All right, nice to see you again, Joe. Let's see if we can get you a hot card right here in this very last pack of yours. Come on, just mystery, Miss Mages. I almost call it Miss Drevis. Forget that Miss, Miss Drevis has an evolution. You got any hente cards? What's up, Mary? Mary wants to know if I have any hente cards left. Mary, I have some more of those Misty cards on the way that were real popular. I'm just trying to think of some other things to offer on this channel other than authentic cards, because I want to branch out. So we're getting some metal cards, we're getting some misty cards, we're getting some keychains, and what else was I thinking about doing? Trying to source uh, card savers that are much cheaper than regular card savers, if that's even possible. And then maybe booster box holders. Just trying to find out what could I add to the channel that would make it a little better. Joe Harris, let's find your back. Do high school DXD cards, since you already do Yugi. Oh, I don't know those. You should send me a link to them. Rings, face cam. People always want to see me. You can see me on Tiki Taki. Funko Pop. Mister, what time did you wake up? I waked up at Pokemon O'Clock. I woke up at 4 a.m. No, I woke up at 4.45 a.m. Sell us mood rings. Sell some potato chips. Mister, what's up, Shiny Sand Slash? Next up, we have Mr. Lachlan Dixon. What's up, man? Lucky dip from my box to grade two cards to PSA. It's Gentoo. All right. Oops, hold on. He wants to grade two cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> I tipped the box over like an like idiot. Just because I could barely reach it. It's not like they went flying everywhere. So you want two cards graded, huh? Do you say which ones? To grade two cards for PSA scan two. All right, so let's see. These are all pricey, 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 pricey. Uh, we might be able to do these two right here. Sell some feet picks. What? All right, I'll do it. One hand on the phone. <laughs> how'd, my, how'd my phone show up in my left hand? Make kitty posters? Oh, that's true. That's a good one. I like that one. Only fans. See, I think if you guys actually paid money to see my feet, you'd feel like you hadn't spent your money well. <laughs> They're just regular feet. Alright, offer packs of sleeves. Anyone want my Caterpie? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I got a headache, guys. Maybe I should go get some painkiller, like, right now. Let me go get some painkiller right now before it gets worse. I'll be right back. Before it gets any worse. Also, this light's off. I'm going to turn the light on. It's like six degrees outside right now. Really cold. <sighs> All right. I took some painkillers. Kitty, you look like you could use some painkillers. Is it snowing outside? It's too dark to tell if it's snowing, but it did snow. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. 
Snort them perks. Oh my god. <laughs> Next up, we have Joe Harris again. He says three rounds of bow styles. You got it, Joe. Joe, I think it's just going to be you opening Pokemon cards tonight. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Can you believe they try to get rid of that song? They're trying to cancel it. That makes me sad. It's a great song. Guess I'll fund the channel tonight. <laughs> Here, Joe, you get a bonus pack for being the only guy buying cards right now. All right. So, after this, I'll go open some mail, okay? We'll open some mail. We'll see what we get out of the mail. Mister's on pain meds. <laughs> How's it going, Poke Kobe? What's up, man? We are up very late, or early, if you want to say early. I'm not supposed to be streaming right now. Um, I was supposed to have streamed like five hours ago, but I started very, 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 very late today, five hours late. So we have a very small audience tonight. It's just me and you and you and you. You have all my attention. Looked up Mr. TikTok's, Mr.'s TikTok, and I can see his chest hair. Someone asked earlier if he shaves it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go shave my chest now. <laughs> Oops, here's Aegis Slash. Who has time to shave their chest here? It makes no sense. Just me and Miss... Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. All right. Gosh, man, you got that bonus pack. Still only got one hit out of there. Crazy. The late night intimate stream. Only simps shave their chest hair. Is that true? Is that a fact? Only simps, huh? I waited five hours for my packs. What's up, Alex? Oof, man, I got a bad headache. What the heck? Are you getting the Matchless Fighter Japanese set? Uh, sure. That's exactly what I'm doing. How did you know? He's a disco fan. That's why he doesn't shave the chest hair. That's right. Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights, that's all right. Brick house and all that stuff. Take some BC powder. It works wonders. BC powder? I ain't taking no powder, man. Oh, we have, a, we have two more orders. So we have Yakov, who wants a custom booster. Need a new bag, says Yakov. All right. Picking up Hollow Sandaconda. Sorry, mister, that was a cold pack. Noticed you took off the McDonald's packs. Yeah, the, it, it, it was making the menu look kind of ugly. I thought the menu was harder to read because of those. They're still on the way. Um, they could also be a higher price than you want them to be at, but I can make them available. The thing is, if you just go to your McDonald's, you will get them at a better price than I did, because I had to pay a lot for them. So, and I'm not trying to break even on them either. Here you go, Mr. Yakov. So they were making the menu look kind of ugly, and I was questioning whether or not I should sell them now, or wait till their price naturally goes up anyways, and then offer them for sale. So those were the two things. Nancy, Nancy going deep. I want six bow styles and four darkness of blaze and a book box. Sounds good. I don't have a bag. So six battle styles. Total of total of six? I think we'll do total of six. Total of six would be $36. Oh, it's the booster box that's throwing me off. You you ordered a book box. That's what yeah. One, two, three. And four darkness. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, short line tonight. Again, I'm starting like five hours late, so it's really just a few of us here. Just a few of us hanging out. And uh, most of the audience that would be here, they've already gone to bed, or they've assumed I'm not going live, so they're just not here. See what you get, Nancy. Tell you what, I tossed in an extra pack for Joe. Let's toss in an extra pack for Nancy now. All right, bonus pack. Since you guys are here so late with me, or early. I guess we should call it early, because I mean, 
It's 523 in the morning. All right, the bonus pack was cold. Well, that's okay. Let's see what the other packs are. Okay, two, three. Oh, man. Four. Oh, man, we got Ore Beetle. How about the red packs? Maybe some good luck in the red packs. Crobat. Oh, man, these are just straight cold. We've got Urshifu. All right, before I feel too bad about it, before I feel too bad about the round, let's see if we get something crazy hot out of the darkness, okay? There are two neighbors arguing with each other, and he sniped them over snow? What? He trans or fetched. Pull the Karina? I wish. We've got Decidueye Hollow. Oh, man. You had a really cold round tonight, Nancy. Nancy, I'll get you one more bonus pack, okay? Let's do a bonus pack of... Well, I'll do a bonus pack of Unified Minds. Tell you what, Nancy. So... I'll open this Unified mind for you, and we'll say that you got the bulk box for free. How about that? Let's see what you got. Oops. Throw that away. Okay. And it is... Oh, man. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's just not happening tonight. It's a little bit of a cold night. I think it was just bad luck. <laughs> Kitty, sometimes you get struck with the bad luck. It's always time to have purple waffles. There you go, Nancy. Nancy, they were making fun of your names earlier. They were they were talking about how we were talking about Karen's and they brought up the name Nancy and I said, You better not. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> New bag. We were talking about how uh, that the Karen stereotype's not really fair and that there's probably a bunch of nice Karens out there. A bunch of nice people named Karen. I wonder if I wonder if maybe being under the topic of that stereotype makes you feel even more obligated to be nice. Or if it does the opposite. Can't see Luna. Mr. just pulled a classic Sanji. What? I don't even know what that means. Oh. I bet people have changed their legal names because of that. You think? Man, that'd be real sad. I wouldn't do that. If there was a stereotype for my name, I wouldn't change it. But yeah, I mean, people came down hard on that name. Oh, man, headache. Oh, oh it like hurts. <laughs> what the hell? That was really strong. Why hide the Zard? Luckily, my name is Alex. Remember a few years ago... Hold on. Some guy changed his legal name to Captain Awesome. No, I do not remember that. Wait, mister, what is your real name? My real name's Derek. Just like Derek Withrow. I, I can see Derek Withrow made an order. All right, so Joe says, send the best card remaining in my bag to PSA, and can I get two Vivid Voltage? All right, sounds good. I had one of those a few weeks back. Couldn't sleep because of it. It's like hurting behind my left eye. I wonder if it's a migraine. Maybe I buy a second EV. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, I think I need two EVs. We got Whismer and Zapdos. All right. Hurting behind my left eye. What could it mean? Probably cancer. I'm just kidding. Breathe in and out. <gasps> Is that good? <laughs> The remaining card in your bag, you say. What does that mean? Send the best card remaining. Okay, so you just want me to pick out the best card. I like Urshifu. I reverse Hollow Pikachu is pretty cool. I think we're sending Urshifu. He's new and he looks cool. He looks cool AF. Where's your food is? Mister doesn't sound like a Derek. 
Oh yeah? <laughs> what does a Derek sound like? I mean, if I am a Derek and this is what I sound like, doesn't, doesn't that define what a Derek sounds like? <laughs> Here you go, Joe. The second black set, black star set listings are currently 5K. Nice. Black star cards are pretty cool. Next up, we have Callum Calder. Five Cosmic will be a lunchtime opening for me in the UK. Cool, man. He's in the UK. One, two, three, four, five. One of the places I really think about moving to. You guys got warm weather in the UK? I want to move somewhere warm if I move to the UK. I think a lot about moving because I think I enjoy the idea of moving. Or maybe Missouri is just really boring to live in. All right, here we go. We could pronounce it Darik. Yeah, I had some neighbor kids who would tease me about that. They're like, it's spelled D-A? <laughs> They're like, that ain't right. Isn't UK rainy? I don't know, is it? <clears throat> Hazy says it's bloody freezing. You guys don't have like a warmest area in the UK? I bet there is. Scotland is where I'll end up. What? I really like the Scottish a lot, but it's so cold over there. And... I just don't know if I want to live in the cold. I kind of like the idea of living in a very kind of like warm, but not like too hot area, right? Wouldn't all the smartest humans just move to the areas with the best weather? I think that's what happened in California. Everyone's like, wait a second, California's got perfect weather. I'm on my way. <laughs> you think you have COVID and you're scared you'll give it to your grandmother. Well, you better stay away from your grandmother for a month. Just tell her, she'll understand. Granny, I think I have COVID. Stay away from me for a month. Or unless you live next to her. Oh, gentle Irish eyes. I know exactly what you're quoting. <laughs> Perfect weather attracts hobos. Oh, well, we couldn't have that. I'm moving to the desert or to Russia. <laughs> Northern California is rainy all, all the time. Oh, okay. So, Calo, I have a bag, he says. Okay. Just go to a farm pug. What? Carlos. 28 degrees in Texas right now. Kill me. <laughs> it's six degrees over here. It's cold, man. Here's Callum. Here in Los Angeles, it only rains five to ten times a year. Damn. Australia has perfect weather and beaches. I've heard about that. I heard it gets pretty hot in Australia, actually. Where do I live at the moment? I live in Missouri, uh, not too far away from St. Louis, and it is just a very boring existence. There's nothing here. There's nothing that keeps me here. I mean, it's cheap. Missouri is a good place to live if you want to go hunting. That would be true. That's about it. <laughs> What's up, Pokey Kobe? He says, hey, Mr. Pokey Kobe here. Looking for three rounds of Bow Styles and three Vivid Voltage. Well, you might be in luck. I don't think the hot card's been sniped yet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three Vivid. All right, three Vivid. I think you are in luck. Because you're going to hit the hottest pulls right here. Move to Abu Dhabi. Oh, did I say that wrong? Abu Dhabi. I've heard of Dubai. Man, I hear Dubai is a pretty cool place to live. I hear it's very hot over there, but it's a neat place to live. LA is cursed, just like Cecil Hotel. What are you guys on about? Wow, we're actually pretty busy for just 90 people. We're opening a lot of cards. Back in the day when I was doing this live stream and it was Pokemon card streaming, box breaks were a lot less known. Um, we had about 50 viewers and it would be a busy live stream despite only having 50 viewers. You'd have some guys like Mahasvar is a great example and they would just go balls deep opening cards. It was crazy. I was like, wow, man, he really liked Pokemon. 
those are some exciting times. We've got, oh, Necrozma. He would go real deep, and we would get to see tons of cards getting open. Isn't Dubai very expensive to live in? I don't know, is it? You're getting engaged today. She proposed? All right, full art or beetle. She proposed? Bro, I'm so happy for you guys. Can you please make sure my CP ETB is hot? Oh, it sounds like we're opening up a Champion's Path ETB for Mr. Derek Withrow. All right, I'll uh, I'll give it a smooch, a Valentine's smooch. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, right? I think it's tomorrow. We got C dot or Beetle. Look at that or Beetle. Okay, Pokey Kobe. Um. You had a bag that I was supposed to ship. I shipped your other cards, but not the bag, because I'm terrible. So I think you still have this bag over here. Ricardo. Pokey Kobe. Cool. Oops, 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 oops. It's every day, mister. Who needs a girlfriend when you have Pokemons? That's true. Who even needs a girlfriend? Next up, we have Mr. Derek, three XY Evos, and 10 Champions Path. Damn, dude. That's really expensive. All right. Three XY Evos. Man, I better start sending some of these out to grade as booster packs because they're really going up in price. Oh, headache. Holy. Powerful headache taken over there. All right. You ready? Here it goes. You've got Mod Chop on the first pack. <laughs> Stranger Danger. Oh, blinded me. Pack number two. Pack number two is Sand True and an upside down Starmie. Come on. Pack number three. Oh, you got another Mach Chop. Is there another card behind it? There is. There it goes. Misty's Determination Full Art. It's kind of sticking there a little bit. Misty card, all sticky. I wonder what happened. <laughs> all right, so the Misty's Determination actually looks pretty well centered. I wonder if that card's going for a lot of money. Here's another Mach Chop. So let's go through and see if you have any secret rares. I'm going to make sure you get these Pikachu Charmanders. Oh, look at that. Those almost seem kind of moist. Hmm. Better look over and make sure your cards weren't affected by that because those are just bulk. Somebody was having a good time with the Misty card before they let it go. So let's see. Was this it? Was this the Sandshrew? Oh, look at that. Sandshrew is affected. Well, you know what? This card looks fine. Uh, however, just because I'm such a cool guy, let me get you one more pack, okay? Somebody was having a good time with the Misty card, I think. All right. This is really expensive, so I hope you appreciate it. Thanks for opening all these packs on the channel, mister. And it looks to be just another cold pack this time. But you got the double colorless energy. Maybe somebody wants that as a 10. Yeah, this one looks fine. So I don't know what happened to the other one. Weird. Your mist was not all wavy like that other card, though. So that's good. Okay, now Derek Withrow needs 10 champions pat. Let me go get him an ETB. I'll be right back. Kitty, what do you think of that? What do you think caused that, Kitty? It's really, really strange. Almost seems like it wouldn't have done that. Hydro pump on the card, that's what I'm thinking. No, but I wonder what really happened.
Smell the card. Oh my god. <laughs> Charizard like went flying out of my hand. <laughs> Uh-oh, mister, is Kitty a boy or a girl? It's probably a... Kitty, what did you do? Okay. This will definitely have a cherry art in it. I can feel it. What do you think, Kitty? I think so. Sleep. Sleep. Sneep. You're going to snipe the Zard. Sneep. Sneep. All right. All sneaked up. Sneep a leap. You ready? Okay. We've got Hatram. Grapple locked. Sorry if I don't sound too excited. I have like a major headache going on right now and the painkiller's not saving me. I think I have a migraine. We got Victini Hectrum. We've got Zygarde. You've already got two full arts, so I wonder what your odds are for the charge art. I think they're still there. As I guard. Last chance. Come on. <sighs> Incineroar V. It's not a terrible box. You picked up Guard of War, Grapple Locked, Incineroar V. Definitely hotter than some box I've seen. Some boxes. But no cherries are in that round. Alex has always got the shower ready, huh? All right. Sorry about that, Alex. I like your Pikachu Charmander. <laughs> Mister, I pulled a Japanese secret rare I've never seen before. Oh, cool, man. You need some keep caffeine, I'll take it away. Huh, I wonder if caffeine would take the headache away. Let me think, did I have any caffeine yesterday? You know what? I didn't have any caffeine yesterday. <gasps> what if it's a headache related to not having drank any caffeine? Hold on. Let me look it up real fast. Can you get a headache from not drinking caffeine? Headache from not drinking coffee. Co caffeine withdrawal headaches. Stay hydrated, stimulate your pressure points, get some rest. Hmm. What does caffeine withdrawal headache feel like? Nah, I don't know. It might just be a regular migraine. <laughs> caffeine, 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 caffeine. <laughs> so let's get this in the Derek's bag. It could be a caffeine withdrawal headache. I haven't had any caffeine today, and I don't think I had any yesterday either. Kitty, what are you doing? Oh, she's so desperate for pets, she pulled my hand over to pet her. Kitty, are you desperate for pets? Dylan, Francisco, Foster. Here we go, Derek Withrow. Derek Withrow, your bag's so large, you're gonna go in the overflow now, okay? So you can do that. You can also get $2, $2 live shipping. Maybe need good old-fashioned water. What the heck is a water? Never heard of that stuff. What in the hell is water? <laughs> okay, we're done with Derek. Let's go ahead and refresh. Kitty is so desperate for pets. Kitty, you're desperate. Have you drank any water this morning? I've had a little bit, yeah. I rarely drink water as it makes me gag. 
water makes you gag? Mister, you're in for a rough life. Mix whiskey with water, it'll clear it right up. Water sucks, it really, really sucks. Does Kitty belong to the street? She belongs to the streets. Okay, let's see. Next up, we have Tyler Stites. How's it going, Tyler? Three rounds of crimson. New bag. All right, Tyler, how's it going, man? Ow. Gatorade? I need some Gatorade. There we go. What's up, Stites? He says it's been a while. It has been a little bit of time. You about ready to get your Master Ball. He says, I better snipe the Zard for one, says Alex. All right. Easy Alex uh, Charizard snipe. Let's see what you got. We got Salazzle Hound Dower. Shellos. All right, last chance. Ooh, you did get something. So Valley GX. All right. Cool. Bath salts will clear it right up. <laughs> okay. Let me go get some bath salts. Okay, Tyler. Fresh bag, huh? I bought two champions path after that box. Well, guaranteed Charizard is what I'm thinking. Tyler Stites. And we'll put you in the tea box. All right. Is that, uh, let's see who's next. Enrique Sension. What's up, Enrique? Hi, Mr. Two Cosmic, Two Bow Styles. Also, could you put my book in Nancy's book box? I have a bag. Sounds good. You guys know each other? So, Two Cosmic. You can if you're, like, related and it's going to the same address. If you're not having your stuff go to the same address, I can't do that, okay? you got to get your own book box, I'm afraid. Two Bow Styles. It's so early, says True Nerdgasm. I know, it's so early. Nancy says, he's my hubby. Sounds good. All right, no problem. We'll give him all the bulk all the time, okay? Just making, uh, just making sure. <laughs> Sometimes you have people and they try to make out deals where one person buys a book box and then everyone tries to put their cards into the same book box. <laughs> Essentially, they try to like sell a place in their box. I didn't think you were doing that. I actually, I'm pretty much I assumed he was, uh, you know, like your brother or your boyfriend or your husband. I was like, it, it, it's got to be. But, you know, I got to ask. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things over time. All right, there we go. Unfortunately, Mr. Enrique, no crazy Pokemons. Nancy's beating yet, beating yet the Poke Poles right now. Nancy Luna. Next up, we got Joe Harris. Joe, for Crimson Invasion. Why wow, everyone's going deep on the Crimson right now? Everyone thinks that the Crimson are about to pay out. Make sure these are feeling good. All right. Ah, the headache's kind of, what's the word, receding? Feeling a little bit better at the moment. <laughs> Got really intense there for a second. Maybe the ibuprofen's kicking in a little bit. Crimson won't be reprinted, so it'll go up. Don't be too sure. We got holographic alone and Raichu. That's pretty good. Oh, a full art. Full art Gyarados. Oh, man, he was right there, guys. Beautiful. All right. Gyarados was in the box. So cool. We got Minchino. And hakamo -O. He says, now nah, I get both of them. <laughs> really? Oh, that's right. You pulled the earlier one. I was wondering who that was. There's so many people opening cards, I forget who pulled what. I know we had seen one earlier. 
All right, Joe. Wow. This is a fantastic card. Next up, we have Javier Diaz. One custom booster pack and two battle styles. You got it. Two battle styles. I think he means two rounds based on the math I'm seeing here. So two rounds of battle styles for Javier Diaz. Yup. And one custom booster pack. You've got Weezing with the diamond. He's an uncommon Weezing from the Fossil set. That's a vintage card. Yep, look at that old artwork of Weezing. When's the first time Weezing shows up? Is this it? Is this the first time Weezing shows up is in the Fossil set? I think it is. And then he he's a rare card in the Rocket set. It's interesting because Weezing is an uncommon in Fossil, but Muck is considered a rare in Fossil. One, makes you wonder why Weezing wasn't also rare. Because there's a lot of other sets where Weezing really is kind of treated as a rare card. Like Expedition's a great example. Expedition, he's a rare. I'm trying to think of other cases. It's obvious the Pokemon card company does like Weezing. Phalanx. Stonjourner. Come on, Crobat. Hollow Crobat. All right, mister. Mr. Javier, nothing too wild for your pulse tonight. I'm sorry, Mr. Better luck next time. Mr. Why is my payment on hold? Uh, that's up to your financial institution. I have no idea. They might be wondering what you're doing. They're like, this seems fishy. Okay, Javier, let me go find your bag. Some financial institutions, uh, they will be a little more uh, picky about whether or not they let you do stuff with your own money. And the reason for that typically is because if something goes wrong, they will cover the loss of your money. So they they treat your money like with kid gloves to make sure that nobody's doing fishy activities with it to try and stop the loss of money. So you can give them a call and be like, uh, can you just release the funds? Hello. The other thing that might be going on is you might be transferring money from PayPal. I'm sorry, from your bank to PayPal to pay and so if that's going on there's like a like a one day transfer time now we have alexander two champions path for alexander you got it alexander i got two champion for you right here the ones that have the cherries art in it Whew. hey we got 100 viewers now that's pretty cool 100 viewers and we're streaming at a very bizarre time to be streaming for us you know, I bet we would have gotten over 300 viewers easily tonight. Scrafty. And Obstagoon. I'm sorry, Alex. Damn, dude. <laughs> I'll get myself ready for the shower. Mr. Alex. Arnett. Whoa, Alex, you could get $2 live shipping anytime you want, Alex, because you got a large bag, okay? I just got off work, so it was perfect timing for me. Nice, dude. All right, let's get a little refresh going. My credit is so good, I pay $300 per month on a 2020 Challenger. Got to start your day all over again. Man, I would like to have a Challenger. That's one of my favorite looking sports car, sports cars. Um, I ended up with a very cheap Ford. <laughs> I don't have any kind of sport car to, car at all. And there's a good reason for that. It's because I'm trying to avoid paying money on a car. Get some more penny sleeves out here. All right, you guys want to see me open some mail? Mail time. We haven't had mail time in a long time. We just have a small stream tonight. All right, what do we have? So to start us out... Got this box. This is probably a booster box. Probably just me restocking something. What else we got here, Kitty? We got a larger box and two smaller packages, huh? Let's see what we have. What was my pocket knife? Pocket knife is on the other table. We'll use my scissors.
This would be a lot easier if I just grab my pocket knife real fast. Dude, these scissors are really weak. I don't want to cost the table to shake too much. These scissors are crazy weak. So this is a booster box, a really expensive one. You recognize that? That's Primal Clash. That's a sealed box of Primal Clash. All right, cool. Just get these back off the table. And we'll save this little box for shipping. I like to do that. It's kind of like recycling. So those are really expensive now, these boxes. They used to be so much cheaper. XY stuff has really gone up in price. You know, I hate this. They taped the actual... This is a common mistake when shipping, so... so don't be that guy. Notice how it's taped all over with packing tape. So it's, it's very hard to actually cut that packing tape and not cut the box underneath. And it's just a very foolish way to, it's not even necessary, honestly. It's truly not necessary to do that. And even applying the tape, you could damage the box underneath because I know how packing tape works. Those packing guns or whatever, the, uh, the tape, dispensers. They're real rough. I could cut my own fingers doing this. So I hate it when sellers do this. I wish I could just reach out to them and be like, there's a smarter way. Just leave it untaped. It's not like while it's shipping, it's not like the it's not like the bubble wrap's going to come undone. It can't. You folded it up and it's snug in a box. So I don't know why they all do it. Many, many people do that. And it's a very bad way to ship things. All right. So that's the first box we got. A little Primal Clash booster box. You guys want to see what that's going for? Primal Clash booster box. It looks like it's going for about $425. It's pretty pricey. All right. I got another box here. It's much larger. I can't put it on the table. So I'll open it from here. All right, here's what was in the other box. It's another Primal Clash. Toss it over. Got some packy peanuts fell out on me. All right, so we got two Primal Clash, and because I bought them at the same time, I'm sure. This will probably be a PSA card. Take a look at this. Look at that. That's ripping right there. I don't recommend using bubble mailers anymore. I think bubble mailers are a terrible way to ship things. Your cards just aren't that safe in a bubble mailer. All right. Hold on. Oh, Umbreon, huh? So I bought a few of these um, because I want to be able to put them into like the custom booster packs because I'm out of GX cards. So I just went around looking for a really nice GX card and paid a bunch of money to buy a bunch of them up. And now I can put these into the custom booster packs and it will be calculated. The cost of it will be calculated in the packs, but you guys will have something really nice to open. And I thought that would be a clever thing to do because uh, you get more of the best, the best pulls. Umbreon is really cool. A lot of people don't know about this particular Umbreon because he's so old. He's from Sun and Moon base set.
Just a top loader? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll just go this way. There we go. So this will go over on my table where I put the wig box together, and now there will be slightly better pulls in the wig box. I'll place these up here for now. Let's see, I have one more thing to open. From Julie. Let's see what Julie sent me. It's another bubble mailer. This got sent to the wrong person. Oops. Oh, man. The mailman's got to do a way better job. That really concerns me. Some masks. So that I thought this was for me, but it's for somebody else. Man. I'm so worried that the mailman's delivering my fucking mail to my neighbor's. That's the second piece of mail this week I got that wasn't mine. God damn, dude. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right. I'm putting this over here. Kitty, what do you think of that? That's kind of a big deal. That's why if you ever, if it ever says your package is delivered, but you didn't get your package, you got to knock on your neighbor's doors, guys, okay? Got to knock on your neighbor's doors. Now I'm going to place these in the other room, so I'll be right back. I'll be back. That was fun. I haven't done that in a long time. Put the pocket knife back up here. Say goodbye, goodbye, mister. You just committed a crime. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll have to return that to my neighbor. I'll be like, uh, this was for you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna refresh and see if anyone wants to open some Pokemons. Mr. Jonathan Westfall does. Hey, Mr. Two Unified Minds. You got it, Jonathan. Ooh. So there's no wait time if anyone wants to open anything. And uh, otherwise, we'll probably wrap up early. Stop committing crimes on camera, mister. <laughs> Sneep. I didn't know. I didn't know. That really concerns me. I'm just imagining the mailman shipping my $200 PSA card to the freaking neighbors, and they're like, what is this? And then they go, I don't even want to return it to them. You know what I mean? Like lazy or something. Jonathan, cold cards this time. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Be careful with those unis, man. The Postmaster General's coming for me. I hear the Postmaster General's job is in danger. Because it was Donald Trump who put him into his position. And they're probably going to booty his booty cheeks out of there now. Now that it's a totally different team. Do you have any vintage packs for me to administer? Uh, if you really wanted to, I would open up a pack of Jungle for you. For 240 bucks, maybe. I don't remember what I was charging for it. Jonathan Westfall. You can pay us off with cherry zards. <laughs> what new stuff you got, mister? How's it going, D-Man? Joel, Jose, Joel. 
He got new masks, that's right. <laughs> Here's Jonathan Westfall. Livestream was faster when I uh, didn't give out the hollows, wasn't it? Well, guys, I guess it's just me and you. Here, I'll hit refresh. What do you guys want to do tonight? Just talk? Let me flip the camera around and I'll just talk to you. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. What is all this? Did we get more orders? Oh, we got more orders. Mr. Yakov says another custom pack. You got it, Yakov. Mr. Yakov, you've got two code card. Mister, let's talk about politics. Where are your political leanings, Mr. Uh, Red Flare? How do you lean? Left, right, middle? Welfare state versus free market capitalism? Let's see, Yakov. The FBI just placed more orders. What? Mister, don't leave me! Kitty, what are you doing? Oh, she brought me her little hair tie. You want me to throw it for you, Kitty? All right, kitty, we're having a slow day. I'll throw it. Boop. Go get it, kitty. John Targus. John says, one wig pack. All right, John. You lean back. That's right. <laughs> lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> Score bunny drizzle and bis sharp. Did you hear the conspiracy, conspiracy about the sex trafficking raid done in the tunnel system under the White House? What? I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> No, I have not heard anything about that. My thing leans a little to the left. My clue is punting to the left. My clue is punting to the right. Oh, man. I have such a raging clue. John Targus. John Targus. They found Marilyn Monroe in the tunnel. Oh. Joey, Jordan, Joseph. Mister, did you hear Logan Paul is into Pokemon? <laughs> That's a pretty big conspiracy, man. You better watch your mouth. They're gonna they're gonna come for you. Hey mister, give us your thoughts on the Penny Spears doc. I heard she was in the news, but I didn't read what it was about. What is going on with Britney Spears tonight, guys? Joel, Jose, Jonathan Wood, John Targus. Did we did we put you on the overflow? Oh, he says I need a new bag right there. I'm so blind. Kitty, what are you doing? She wants me to throw it again. Here you go, Kitty. You ready? Go get it. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Free Britney. Something to do with her dad. Her father's trying to steal all her money. Oh, my God. As a parent does. <laughs> Auction off the neighbor's mask. No, no. I got to return it. I got to return that mask. I got to build that relationship with my neighbors, you know, in case they ever receive something of mine. I gotta make sure I'll be like, see, I gave you yours. You gotta give me mine. Next up, we have Joseph Hernandez. He says two Primal Clash and one wigged. All right, you got it. Kitty, you want me to throw it? Here goes, Kitty. Go get it, Kitty. All right, we got two Primal Clash. Her parents take all of her money and she is basically being held hostage because of mental health issues. Oh, what if she is having mental health issues? Seems a little too convenient for the parents, though, but... I mean, she just kind of... Oh, Cinderace! I don't know. The money makes it seem dishonest. On the other hand, I mean, if, you're, if your daughter's losing all her money because she's crazy, maybe you would want to, like, take over and be like, no, 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 don't handle your own money, please. You know, you, you don't want to see your daughter lose her fortune. A lot of manipulative people out there, not just your parents. A lot of manipulative people would probably take your money. Oh, you're a famous celebrity? Let me try and get all your money from you. Some picture she's posted. You can see security cameras behind her. She's not losing all her money. She hasn't been legally allowed to do so for years. She's been mental for years. She should be able to live. Huh. Mistress neighbors are all pokey rich with that misplaced mail they've gotten. Maybe. We got mag cargo. Nice. Holographic escadrille. Very cool. Let's see if you have any more of those in here, in fact. Need Arena looking kind of susser here. She laying in the flowers. I'm like, I don't like sand. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. We got Grovile and Grovile. All right, mister. Pulls were just okay. 
Just one excadrill, huh? Hmm. What's up with Taylor Swift, mister? I don't know anything about Taylor Swift. What's going on with Taylor Swift? That was for Mr. Joseph and my music paused. I wish YouTube would not do that. When's YouTube gonna learn that? I leave the music playing all the time. All right, we got Jovany, Johnny Pyres, Johnny, Jose. Wait, did I just put you up top? No, that's Jason that I put up top. All right, get back to it. <laughs> so many people with the very similar looking names. Joseph Haney, Joey DeMarco, John. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Joseph. Jo oh, here you are. I heard the name Joseph, and I was like, wait a second, that's who we're looking for. We're looking for Joseph. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, because you got this in your PayPal name now, we're going to say Joseph Stark. There we go. Since that's your official PayPal name, that's the correct way to do it, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Sweet. Just a slow night tonight. Slash morning, slash day, slash how, whatever time it is for you guys. Tony Stark. It's Tony Stark. Wait, I'm not a pop star, says Alex. Mister, tell me your thoughts on the United States government and the judicial system. The judicial system is wigged. My wife and I were watching a lot of um, crime, real crime uh, TV shows. Maybe over the last month. You know, we're running out of content. And we were surprised to learn most people who commit murder actually get away with it. I didn't know that. It's, it's not most, but like some huge chunk of murders are never figured out. I always believed that the cops always solve the murders and that you can't escape the cops. It's not true at all. You can kill someone and get away with it. And it happens quite, quite frequently. And then what also messed me up, when they do catch you, you often enter into a plea deal just to make sure that they can get you as guilty They'll offer you a plea deal, and you only go to jail for like seven years. You can go to jail for like seven years and then be done and then just get out of jail free. You know what I mean? Well, not free, but sometimes they shorten the sentence because you're so good in jail. Oh, you've been a good boy. Here you go. You can get out early. I was so shocked to learn all that. I was like, wait a second. People murder other people so that the victim is gone forever. They don't get to vote. They don't get to have sex. They don't have children. They don't get to do anything. They don't get to have a job. They don't have any of the pleasures of life. They were often murdered terribly. So it was often brutal. And that's that's forever for them and their family. And you go to jail for seven years, but really it's five years if you're good, if you're good in jail. I was really shocked to learn that. I was like, what? They don't get to rip SF. What? <laughs> yeah, I was really shocked to learn how... In cases where it's been like a brutal murder, we really, not in all cases, some cases people really do get in trouble, go to jail for life, that's it for them. But it depends on the state that you're living in. Different states handle murder differently. Some states are really lenient. For example, there's the most lenient state amongst all the states. Some states have the most lenient rules. And I was just really shocked. I was like, well, so then justice is just an opinion then. You know what I mean? It's just whatever feel, people feel is justice. The people over here feel like you should be able to get away with murder, go to jail for five years, and then you're out scot-free. And the people over here think that you should go to the electric chair, you know? And uh, I was really surprised. It made, it made it feel like justice is not blind even a little bit. I was like, justice is so not blind. And uh, when you don't have proper evidence, it, it's shocking how easy it is to get away with murder when there's no proper evidence. Has a payment from Claude gone through? Let me go check. Kyle, that's really true. What? Hannah Montana doesn't exist. I was watching a video of unsolved murders being solved in 2020, and a lot of them were rape and murder of children, and all of the suspects died before getting caught. Crazy. It's crazy. Hey, Card Economist. Good morning, and to the rest of all. How's it going, bud? Free take hey, till it's backwards, sir. What? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. All right, we're looking for Claude. I do see Claude. Claude, actually, you're next. You're right after Mr. Um, Joseph. 
So it goes Joseph, and then it goes Claude. Are you ready? Claude says, I need your lucky hands to pull me something good. One custom booster. All right, let's see if you get lucky. You might get lucky. Well, there you go. PSA 10, number 175. Woohoo! Tonight was your lucky night. Number 175. There you go. Alex says, no, I've been sniped. <laughs> Claude Cavan. I think everyone was kind of searching around for that. It's wigged. Claude, you did get lucky. All right. Now we have Joe Harris. Joe Harris says one round of battle styles. You got it, Joe. Joe's looking to do a little sniping here in the uh, battle styles. Sneep. Giovanni Bonaire says, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Everyone was hoping to make the same move, but it was Claude's luck because he came up right after Joseph Hernandez. We got Ente. All right. One round of masks, what? <laughs> You'll sell for 100 Sold! Sold to Mr. TCC. Mr. What are your thoughts on nonviolent criminals like drug dealers serving life sentences? Uh, I would want to hear all the details. Okay, so I don't like to make sweeping assumptions about anything. But I think that a lot of the drug crimes uh, related to selling drugs, if you're talking specifically about marijuana, everyone right now should be let out for marijuana. It's simple. Marijuana is not killing anyone from overdosing. People are not doing marijuana and then going on shooting sprees and beating their wives. You know, you hear that all the time for alcohol, but alcohol is legal. And then marijuana doesn't do that, but it's illegal in some places and legal in other places. And there's still people serving probably sentences for dealing marijuana. So all marijuana uh, crimes should be dropped immediately, just washed off of your record. And everyone needs to be let out of jail and probably given a little stimmy check to tell you the truth. Like a, Oops, sorry we put you in jail over nothing. Something like that, you know what I mean? Other drugs like, probably the harder drugs, like let's say heroin. I hate to tell you, but I'm still for putting people in jail for dealing heroin. If it's a really bad drug that messes you up in a very serious way, kills you from overdosing easily, destroys your family financially, uh, some drugs do need to be kept illegal. So I'm, I'm, I take both sides. Marijuana should be legalized heroin and whatever other really hard drugs should be illegal still. And we should be really strict about letting those drugs into our country. Really, really strict. All right, Joe. I think what I learned from the whole issue of marijuana is that we really ought to know the difference between different drugs. We really ought to know which drugs are destroying people and which ones aren't. You know what I mean? And, and by the way, you know, when a when a wealthy person or a rich celebrity does drugs, they should really be fined not on a flat base, uh, you know, like, okay, the fine for doing drugs is like $200 or something. They need to be fined a percentage of their total wealth. So if you're a rich guy in a, in a music video doing drugs, you should be fined 20% of your wealth, poof, is gone. And have that apply every time you're caught doing it. So we need to change how we allow people who are presenting drugs as a normal part of life and as something to glorify, something good that you should do. We should have an actual punishment for them. When you're a multimillionaire, let's say you had $10 million and you had to pay a $1,000 fine for being caught doing, I don't know, some stupid drug. That's actually very easy to handle when you're very, very wealthy. It's poor people who, can, who can't handle that. But the wealthy can handle that all day. So the crime should change, the, the punishment should change to be a percentage of wealth. So if you've got $10 million, you lose $2 million for getting caught doing some really strong drug that's illegal for everyone else. So make sure everyone's playing by the same rules. Mr. Alexander, what's up, man? He says one wig pack. Oh, Alex, here goes. <laughs> and you get, oh, that's not so bad, actually. Dragapult. Mr. You're a millionaire. I'm a multi pokey millionaire. The government's going to come in and I'm just going to pay off my drug charges with, by selling a cherry zard. Did you know Pokemon is banned in Iran? I did not know that. Why'd they ban it? Evolution or something? I found out that the uh, apparently when Pokemon came out, 
there were a lot of Catholic parents who were concerned about teaching their children evolution. But basically the Pope came out and said it's fine. So that explains why my parents, who were, by the way, they were very devoutly Catholic, it explains why they didn't care about me uh, playing with Pokemons. It's interesting. I didn't know that stuff back then. All right. Next up, we have Slav. Slav says, one custom pack. Everybody coming out to snipe. Oh, what? Slav, you got a nice pack anyway, mister. Mister, remember me sniping Evolution's Charizard like it was easy? Yeah, you did pretty good, man. And you know what? You sniped him back before the price blew up on him, so you're real lucky. All right, so Slav, you did well anyways. Hyper Rare Crobat. Snipe. That is the better snipe. Hello, TCC. What's up, Jacob? Next up, we have Johnny Ceruzzi. One official custom booster. I have a bag. You got it, Johnny. Johnny Ceruzzi picking up Full Art Vigavolt. Would you buy Indonesian Pokemon? Shining Mew is $35. Is it if, if it's authentic Pokemon cards, then uh, yeah, I'd be open minded, but they have to be authentic, they have to be printed by Pokemon the company. Okay, Johnny Ceruzzi, Mr. How much is a custom pack? They go for $20 a piece, so they're pretty pricey, and they're just a different way to open up cards, they're very high risk. Sometimes you get something real crazy out of there, like a $700 item, but that means there has to be like a bunch of people pulling cold packs for that to occur. So keep that in mind. One lucky guy and a bunch of people who got unlucky. Four wicked packs for Mr. Callum. You got it, Callum, four packs. Callum says, Weeping Bell. You got a round of the code cards. Yamper and Goldeen Goldeen. Mister, I made all my 5K that I lost on GME by trading a penny stock. What? One, two, three, four. Beldum. All right, mister, I apologize, Callum, but those were cold. I think you and everyone else had exactly the same idea. I think everyone was like, I'll just snipe them. Whew. That's why you got to be careful with those wig packs because you don't know who else is watching. Somebody else could be watching and waiting to snipe. Mr. Callum. Better luck next time. McDonald's packs, you can see through the wrapper to see what's inside if you shine a flashlight. Nice, man. Yeah, a lot of people have mentioned that. All right, let me go ahead and refresh. Mr., how do you feel about Molly? Uh, is Molly basically ecstasy? I heard that ecstasy is real bad for you. It's been snowing outside where I live for the last 10 hours. That's right. It's been snowing for like three days for us. Not a real deep snow, but just a constant like sprinkle of snow. Never ending sprinkle. Red Flare says, yeah, basically. Uh, you know, I've always, I've always been curious what it's like to do ecstasy. Uh, but... What I care most about when it comes to drugs is how do they affect my long-term health? If they're bad for me, I just don't want them. So it's simple. Should it be illegal? It really depends on how damaging it is. So think of it like this. We're all kind of in a social group together. When you're making bad life choices, it's great to imagine that this is America and we're free to do whatever we want and the government won't intervene in our lives. But the reality is if there's 10 people in a group and two of those people get addicted to a drug and their lives fall apart and now they got single family parents, their wives have children and they're in re rehabilitation or homeless. What happens is you tap the other eight people on the shoulder and say, all right, pay for me, I'm homeless. Also pay for my children to do this and do that because uh, just send my wife checks, please. And so this is not such a big problem if there's very few people struggling and lots of people succeeding. However, the more people struggle, the more people fall into homelessness and into drug addiction and into single parent uh, family uh, households and all of those issues, the more people fall into that sort of 
downward spiral, the more people you got to tap on the shoulder to tax. You got to raise taxes. You got to go into debt. And it's sort of like a little, it's sort of like a little game of making sure that your country has enough money to support the people who need help. If it turns out that the drugs are causing you to lose and become poor and become unable to take care of your society, you need to create rules that stop people from being allowed to do that because the truth is you aren't totally free from each other. Let me put this another way. If I didn't have to pay taxes, you can do whatever the frick you want. I don't care. You could do every single drug in the world. You could do it all day too. I, I just wouldn't give two Fs. But because the taxes are actually probably going to be going up and because people are so concerned with welfare, hey, I need welfare. I need UBI. I need you to pay for me to go to school. You need me to pay for me to go to the hospital. Well, we need to have more restrictive rules that make sure that you're definitely required to make smart life choices because it's typically your life choices that are causing you to succeed or fail. So, and then the question becomes, does doing Molly count as a good life choice or a poor life choice? And if it, the science shows that it's a poor life choice, you know, me just being logical, I'm going to say we need to fiercely outlaw it. You got three McDonald's Pikachus. Nice, man. So I would like to live in a society where everyone's actually free to do whatever harmful drug they want, but then, you know, people get drunk and they go driving and they ruin people's lives. So you're not totally free of each other. I wish we were. I really do, actually, because I, I tend to live very conservatively and I tend to make a lot of uh, correct choices in life, I think. Joe Harris says, one custom booster and send the Gyarados to PSA. You got it, Joe. You got it, Joe. You know, if everyone was just paying for their own family's health care, their own grandma's health care, I'd be like, yeah, do whatever you want, man. More power to you. You're free. That's the whole that's the whole idea. You're free. But you have to take care of yourself. And you have to live within your means. And you have to be the consequences of what you do. We need a TCC podcast. What? <laughs> I was just going to say the consequences of what you do has to be your own consequences and uh, not my consequences. I don't want to pay for your sex life, for example. That's a big one for me. I don't want to pay for other people to have sex. I really don't. And yeah, you know, being free means people can't impose their problems on you once they've created a problem. It's Gyarados. Look at that Gyarados. So one custom booster as well, huh? Let's see what you get. Salamance. Hey, that's actually a lot better than just a hollow card. Wow. Mister, I went to McDonald's, ordered a Happy Meal, but it was a dumb Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Are there no 25th anniversary Pokemon cards in Canada? That's what I've heard. I've heard that it's an American thing and it, it didn't show up in international countries. So this is for Joe. And your bag, I just put it up here. Uh, but, you know, let's say that the science showed that Molly ecstasy was really not that bad for you. You know, not any worse than what? Eating cookies. Eating cookies, by the way, is really unhealthy. Eating cookies, doing alcohol. You know, if it wasn't that bad, I'd be like, so what? We should decriminalize it. And uh, people should be allowed to have a little bit of fun. It's not like you're going to live forever. You know what I mean? So I understand that side of the argument as well. But if it, if it is really harmful for your brain, you just can't you're in a society where you're too closely connected to each other. When one person messes up, it messes everyone else up. They're like, oh man, life sucks. We're all homeless. You're going to have to pay for that now. Sorry. They don't even say sorry. They act like you're the bad guy. <laughs> How could you not pay for my mistakes? If it was, you know, I, I've said this before on this live stream. I actually do not mind helping people. It is the way that they ask for the way that they ask for help, they they talk about it like they hate you and you need to pay for their stuff. And if it was like another way around, if it was like, hey, we all love each other. We're one big family in this country. I'd be like, yeah, I'm down. Let's take care of each other. You know what I mean? But it's always the other way. It's always the, uh, the, 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 uh, the first one. It's always the violent, angry. I'm just going to take what I need from you. You know, it's always the taking. It's never the, oh, man, I love you. We're all some big family, and, and I'm I'm down, and maybe I made some bad choices. It's never the second one. It's never humble. It's never never kind, never humble. But actually, that does not surprise me because typically people who are making really poor life choices are just people who generally aren't nice to others in the first place. 
And that makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're going to be cruel to somebody else, you're not going to be nice to your future self. You're not looking out for yourself. So that's how I feel about it. It's just typically someone you wouldn't want to date in the first place. You know, you wouldn't want to be stuck in a relationship in the first place with that person. All right. So we've been live for about an hour and 25 minutes. Me made many evolution masters, says Mr. Damn, nice red flare. It's a good time to have done it, getting it done before the price blew up, right? I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up here, guys. I appreciate the small live stream we've had with each other. I guess I'll end on this note since we were talking about drug doing. I don't want to sound like I have no empathy or sympathy for people who are doing drugs. I feel really bad for them is the truth. And if we can help them financially, I would like to see them get off of drugs, have a family. That's really important. Have a family who loves them and just be a productive citizen. So that's why I would like to see. But you were asking me a little more towards the side of what do I believe the policy should be? The policy should be the smartest possible policy. That's, that's it in a nutshell. So that's my last statement, and we'll wrap up here. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys today, tomorrow. <laughs> Can we do mushies together?